Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in today. Have you heard of reality trans surfing? Or maybe the existence of parallel realities? Well if you have, and you have an interest in it, stay tuned because today I'm going to walk you through essentially what reality trans surfing is. It's not as complex as it sounds, but it's a very interesting subject particularly as we aim to make our way through life, manifesting our dreams and our desires and really living the life of value that we intend. This is an interesting topic, so stay tuned because it's sure to be an interesting chat too. My name's Ben and welcome to Elevate. Let's do it. Welcome back to another video folks, and more specifically, welcome back to my gorgeous backyard here in the stunning Queensland countryside where it's a beautiful bright winter's day today. Reality transurfing, folks, this is a term I've heard bandied about, well, more and more these days. Um, there have been books written on the subject and essentially reality transurfing is just a, a new or a modern term that's been applied to a very old principle. In fact, it's a principle that's been around and written about and recorded throughout the ages. But it's something that a lot of people really don't get, don't grasp. And I think perhaps the human side of our brain oftentimes stands in the way of us grasping these new concepts and applying them wholeheartedly to our lives to really see benefit. So don't be freaked out when you hear things like parallel realities or reality transurfing, because in fact, this is something very powerful. And I guess to best explain it and to understand its purpose and its power in our life, we need to understand a few foundational truths. The first foundational truth that we need to understand when we're talking about reality transurfing is we need to discuss time and right down to the very existence of it. You see, when we talk about shifting through parallel realities, rather than applying the principles of time to our life, we take a stand that says we understand the principles of time are something that we have manufactured. Time is a name that we give to something as a continuum that it may be measured. So instead of moving through time, reality transurfing and the principle behind parallel realities says that in fact we're not moving through time, but we're moving through different sets of realities. If I can explain it to you like this. When you think about time, we normally think about it in three ways. We have the past, we have the present, and we have the future. But if we look at the very definition of those terms, the past, when we were living it, was in fact the present. So there's no past. There are only memories of present moments. The present is what we are experiencing now and what we will always experience because there is no future. The future when we experience it is the present. Therefore our hopes and our dreams, our goals, our aspirations, our highest dreams, they're not in the future. They are in the present we are yet to enjoy. So when we talk about reality transurfing, we now begin to understand that instead of moving through time, we move through different scenes of a movie, the movie that is life. If you imagine sitting in a cinema, looking at a movie, and then unraveling the film roll on it, you have dozens and hundreds of individual frames. And as the movie projector plays that, the frames play at a great rate of speed and it projects the movie. Reality Transurfing says that. It says that rather than moving through past, present and future, we're constantly moving through parallel realities. So it's important to exist, to understand that what exists in parallel realities is every conceivable option of every conceivable decision that we could ever possibly make for good, for bad, and all the indifference in between. Now folks, this can be a bit intimidating when we first start to get a hold of this. If you reflect on this and you meditate on this, you will understand this is a pretty, pretty big thing and it's quite a weight <clears throat> that's carried with this. When we understand that if we want to live our dreams, we want to manifest a desire, we want to take a holiday, we want a promotion, we want to find a soulmate, whatever it might be, 
we know that with the law of attraction, when we focus on those things, when we think about, when we spend our energy and feel those things, we attract that which we seek into our life. But folks, come with me as we go just one step further and we say, we're not attracting a new creation into our life. That wealth, when it comes into our life, that partner, that promotion, the new job, the business venture, whatever it might be, when it comes into our life, it is not something new that has been created. It's something that is already existing. We have just shifted into the parallel reality where that is already playing out. That movie is already playing on the screen. You see, to understand this, it helps to take a little bit out of science's book. If we look at quantum physics and quantum mechanics, this is where science actually begins to suggest that a universe cannot exist without consciousness to observe it. Quantum physics says that nothing exists without conscious observation. Therefore, when we're talking about reality transurfing, we're talking about manifesting our dreams, our desires. What we are saying is that reality already exists where you are, that person, with that partner, with that money, with that job, with that new body, with that favour, with the new car, the new home, the enterprise, whatever it might be, you are already are that and have that in other universes and other realities. So it's time to apply science to this and say, I'm going to switch my consciousness to start observing something different. This is precisely what quantum physics teaches us. So, instead of just meandering our way through life, wishful thinking, hoping on a wing and a prayer, let's set our intention to seek truly what our heart desires and understand that when we begin to seek that, rather than attracting new things into our life, we are switching our position into that where it already exists. We are moving into that reality. We are moving into that universe, that parallel field where we already are that person. Folks, you already have everything you need, everything you want, everything you desire. Every dream in your heart, every dream to come into your heart. A universe and a reality exists where that is already true. We just need to observe it. So folks, can I encourage you to begin to be reflective, to find some time to quiet and still and peace your mind, to slow down and focus on your breathing and just begin to meditate and reflect on that which you really, really want in your life. Understanding from this new perspective and this newfound position that we've discovered today, that it already exists. You don't have to chase it, folks. You don't have to go out there and belt doors down to make opportunity happen. Our job is just to knock on the doors. When they open, we walk through them. If you belt things down in your own strength, you will have to maintain them in your own strength. Folks, what we want is to relax for easy power. So start observing those new realities. Start playing that movie in your mind's eye, observing those frames. And folks, if you can get a hold of this, I believe you can start switching into those parallel realities and start living your dreams, start being the impact and the influence and the difference that this world needs and that your unique destiny requires of you. Folks, my name's Ben. It's been wonderful to spend this time with you today. I'm very thankful for you tuning in and for you spending some time. If you've liked what you've heard or this has been of some benefit or a blessing, would you consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing and get involved down below in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me your understanding. Get involved. Let's have a conversation. But from the beautiful countryside here in Queensland, it's time for me to go and get some other things done. So thanks again for stopping in. I'm off. I'll see you on the next one. God bless, guys. Bye-bye.